hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to inherit and add a menu to an existing module in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 14 development tutorials so in this video what I'll be doing is that if I go to the sales module here we have the orders menu so and this is the orders menu in sales module and in this tab we have the appointments menu in our hospital module so what I'll be doing is that I will inherit and add the appointments menu inside the sales module under the orders menu here we have quotation orders sales team customers so after orders I'll be adding a new menu called appointments and I'll show all the appointments inside the sales module so let's see how we can do that so I'll be inheriting the sales module inside the OM hospital module which we have already done in order to show how to inherit and add a new field so let's see how we can add a menu here inside the sales module so if I go to the pie charm and this is our custom module that is OM hospital so it, if you haven't got this module you can just go to the Odoo app store and you can search OM hospital or you can search Odoo 14 development tutorials by Odoo mates and you can get this code so if I go to the views folder here we have sale.xml file so I'll be adding new codes inside here so what I'll be doing is that I have to define a menu so I'll copy the existing appointment menu so here we have the appointments menu so I'll copy this menu and I'll put it inside the sale.xml file so just I'll put it here because all the sales related code we can place inside this file so I'm just defining a new menu called menu sale appointment so I'll give the name like menu sale appointments and I'll keep the menu name as appointments itself and parent the parent you have to change so I'll remove the parent and the action to execute is the same action it has to call this action and I'll give the sequence so I'll remove the sequence also so what I have done is I have simply defined a menu with ID menu sale appointment name is given as appointments and action I have called the same action now let's see what happens if I upgrade the module so right now we haven't set any parent menu for this menu so just we will upgrade the module and see what happens so as you have made changes inside the XML you have to go to the UI and you have to upgrade the module so I'll go to the apps menu and I'll upgrade the Odoo 14 development tutorials so the module has been successfully upgraded and you can see a new menu called appointments has been added here so the menu got added here because it don't it doesn't have any parent so if you check the code we haven't defined any parent for this menu that's why it appears as a root menu so the root menu will not have a parent or suppose if you define a menu without a parent it will show in the main list so if you need to list it under this menu so you can see the parent menu here is orders the parent menu here is to invoice the parent menu of orders is sales so under say under the sales menu you have the sub menus like orders to invoice product reporting and configuration and under the orders you have quotations orders sales team and customers so as we have to add new menu here we have to set the parent as orders so you can see orders is the parent but if you come here the code configuration under the configuration we have the sub menu like settings sales team sale orders products and under the sale orders we have sub menu like quotations and tags you can see a spacing here so this comes under sales orders so we have to add appointment menu under this orders menu so we have to set the parent of our newly added appointment menu as orders so we have to find its external id first so to find its external id what you have to do is that you have to activate the debug mode so i'll go here and i'll activate the debug mode so once the debug mode is activated you can go to the settings then technical and if you scroll down 
you can see a menu called user interface where is user interface yes here you have the user interface and you have menu items and if you search inside here that is for orders you can see the menu sale bar orders you can see sales bar orders not you need to get this orders not this orders so i'll choose sales bar orders not this one so i'll open open this and here you can see under this the sub menus are quotation orders sales team and customers so in order to get its external id i'll click on here and from the view metadata you can get its external id or xml id so i'll copy this and i'll go to the pie charm and i'll set it as parent for my menu parent equal to this menu so what i have done is for the newly added menu i have set the parent as the order menu in sales so i'll go to the ui and i'll upgrade the module so i'll duplicate this tab and currently you can see you have an appointment menu so if i refresh currently you have an appointments menu here and on upgrading the module it will get disappeared from the root menu so let me upgrade so if i upgrade you will not see the appointments menu here again so you can see the module has been successfully upgraded now if i refresh you won't see the appointment menu here there is no appointment menu here but it will be under sales and orders you can see the appointment menu has got added inside the sales module so it comes here under the orders menu what we have done is we have set its parent correctly that is sale dot sale order menu and right now it appears at the last position but you need it under orders so i'll show you how to do that so this is the menu and if i refresh you can see under the sub menus the newly added appointments has been added so in order to get this near the orders you have to give the same sequence or in order so right now i need to get these appointments near the orders so i'll give the sequence as two so i have to set the sequence so here i'll give the sequence as sequence as two so right now i'm giving the sequence as two because i need to get near the orders menu so if you need to get after sales team you can give three or four and if you need to get it near the quotation you can give the sequence as one so right now i need to get it as in the orders menu so i set as sequence two so let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade the odoo 14 development tutorials again so let's see the module has been upgraded and if i come to the sales and then to the orders you can see the appointments menu has got added or get added near the orders menu so this is how you can inherit an existing module and add a field into it simply what you have to do is that simply it's all about setting the parent menu for the newly added menu so as we are depending on the sales module here don't forget to specify it in the manifest file in the depend section you can see we already have specified it here thus i'm not repeating it again so if you are adding uh, inside some another module make sure that it has been specified inside the depends so that's it for the video and you might think how can i call uh, just i'll add one more point in this video here we are getting customers or here we have products inside Uru. so let's you might think how how can i add the same menu or same action inside our module that is on hospital so if i go to the hospital let's take a case where you have to add a product menu here and call the same action so i think we can do it in a separate video rather than adding it in this video so if you have any queries feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook and twitter and we have a whatsapp group and if you like to join please send your whatsapp number to our email id that is odomates at gmail.com so that's it for the video have a nice day thank you